you think she's sweet as candy I know you wanna be with her But Josie got a reputation to scratch behind that fur She's got Channel number 12 here, and welcome back to another food review. Today we are checking out Munch Pack once again, because I know you guys love these unboxings, and I'm bringing you guys yet again another unboxing of Munch Pack. And of course, it's a family pack, so you guys know this family pack is gigantic. It's like 20 plus snacks. There's sometimes even more. And there was a coffee in this one that I'll do on Coffee Time, and that hasn't yet been released, uh, my first episode of Coffee Time. So stay tuned for that uh, on social media. That way I can keep you guys posted on when you guys can see the first episode of Coffee Time. But today we're doing Munch Pack. And there is snacks that, that I've already eaten just because uh, the snacks that I've eaten, uh, they were already in other boxes, so you guys have already seen the snacks that I've already eaten. So we're going to do some snacks that you guys have never seen. And you guys are going to be quite uh, happy to see these snacks that I have in this box. So we're going to start off with this one. I've actually been holding back to doing this one. It's a glazed popcorn birthday cake. And I'm not sure what the, where this is from. Uh, products of the USA, so it's from the States. So I've been holding back to do this one because I know most of you guys love popcorn. I mean, who doesn't? So we're going to open this, if I can open it. Okay, it smells just like regular popcorn, except that uh, the popcorn is glazed. I'm assuming it's probably going to taste like birthday cake since it says birthday cake on it. This is actually pretty good. Wow, I'm actually quite surprised. And it's peanut free and gluten free. May contain soy products. You could actually taste that hint of birthday cake. Sweet. It has a hint of birthday cake flavor. Really good. I would give this a uh, I would have to give this a 5 out of 5. Pretty good. Check it out. If you guys can find this, check it out. This is pretty good. Okay, so these next snacks are Trollies Extreme Sour Bites Fruits. And this is new. If I can even open these snacks. So I'm going to open these up. Well, smells kind of fruity. I don't know about extreme sour. It has a bit of sourness. But not extreme. It starts off as sweet. And then the sour comes through. But I wouldn't really define this as extreme sourness. But these are still pretty good. I give this. I'm going to say uh, 4 out of 5. Definitely these are pretty good. Next snack. There's these Dammies. And these are from, can't, okay, product of Mexico. So these are a Mexican candy. So there's Dammies, it's called. And it's made with real milk. So it's a, a milk candy. So, so it's just like milk chocolate, but milk candy. So you just gotta unwrap it. Okay, it kind of looks like a butterscotch candy. I'll try to bite it. So you can bite it. It's not a hard candy, but it's a soft candy. I'm not sure. But let's see if the ingredient. I was correct. The, the taste, the minute that I bit into the candy, I knew there was a distinct flavor, and it was what I thought it was, and it was peanuts. It had a um, very peanut butter flavor when you bit into the candy, and then 
the third ingredient is peanuts. So definitely, if you guys are allergic to peanuts, this is not a candy for you, but if you guys love like a peanut butter soft candy, you guys will definitely like these. Wow, these are amazing. Five out of five, definitely, these are really good. Check these out. So I got these, uh, these must be, yeah, product of Korea. So these are Korean candies. And someone can translate this for me. That'd be great. Let me know in the comment section below. Okay, smell like chocolate. I'm assuming these are like dino, a dino candy, like a dinosaur candy. Tastes like chocolate. Yeah, so they kind of remind me of um, M&M's, but in dino, like little dinosaurs. These are actually pretty good. Probably from me to you. If you guys, I'm gonna tell you this. If you get Munch Pack, I highly recommend you guys get every snack that I've done a review on, especially these. These are really good. I might actually continue eating them. I got this bag of candy. I've already opened them. I've only had one of them, but I had to review this for you guys. This is a coffee candy. So if you guys love coffee as much as I do, you guys will enjoy these. These are just coffee candies and they actually, Santa Fe Springs, California. So I'm not sure. If someone can confirm where these come from, that'd be great. And I tell you, when I, when I was a kid, coffee candies were like my favorite. And the ones that I used to eat, for some odd reason, they don't make them anymore. I don't really remember which of the brand name, but when I can find coffee candies like this, even if it's not the actual brand that I used to eat, as long as it's coffee candies, it always brings me back to when I was a kid. So a coffee candy looks like this. Tastes like a, a home-brewed coffee. Tastes so good. I like chewing on these candies while I'm editing. You know, you don't want to have a cup of coffee, but you want that coffee taste. These candies are definitely well worth it. Five out of five from me to you. If, I, if you guys can get these, that would be great. Let me know if you guys ever tried these. Okay, so now I got these cookies. And what it says is Pal G. Original Gluco Biscuit. I think that's... But let's see if we're there from. Okay. So these these are a product of Mumbai, India. A biscuit or cookie. So if I can open this. Okay, so they're not a wafer cookie, which I thought they were. They're more like just normal cookies. Kind of looks like an arrowroot cookie. Yeah, kind of looks like an arrowroot. These would be good with a, a cup of coffee or a cup of tea. These are pretty good. Four out of five, I'm going to give these. Kind of looks like Tic Tacs. And these are made in China. So, I'm not sure if they're Tic Tacs, but... Okay, they smell fruity. So, there's... The size is about a size of a Tic Tac. It's a bit of hard candy. It's a blue, it's a blue raspberry. Zazzer's Tid Bite. Tid Bite. I'm not sure if that's, but they're pretty good. Blue raspberry. Pretty good. Hard candy. Great flavors of blue raspberry. I'm going to give this a 3 out of 5.
Okay, these are the next snack. I've really never heard of this. It kind of remind me of the high chews that I had in like a few boxes ago. But these are Puncha. I, I'm, I'm going to butcher the name. But I'm going to try to pronounce it. I think it's pronounced um, Punchao. <laughs> like I said, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. But if someone, as always, every snack that I've reviewed, I'm probably butchering all the names. But if someone can help me, that would be great. Let me know in the comments section below. But as far as flavor, it says Ramunun Soda. So it's a type of soda in probably China that is very popular. This is what the flavor of. Gummy and soft candy. So they're gummy, but they're also soft. So that's good. That's good to tell me what they are. So that way I'm not like biting into it and it's real hard. It's a hard candy and I'm, br I'm breaking a tooth. At least it's telling me it's a soft and uh, gummy candy. So they, they're individually wrapped. Yeah, they kind of remind me of those high chews and a piece of gum. When they say very chewy candy, it is a very chewy candy. I'm not sure if there's something in the middle, but whatever it was, it was a bit sour. It's almost like gum almost. That's a chewy candy. Actually, this is pretty good. I actually like them. What's it called? I'm not like I'm not gonna say that again, but these are pretty tasty. I looked on the label. It's made in Os Osaka, Japan. But it's imported uh, in, in Los Angeles. So it's a Japanese a candy, but it's imported into North America. Uh, like like I said, the chewy candy. But at the same time, uh, there's a bit of the sourness. You guys can see in the middle. They kind of punctured it in the middle and put some sour stuff, I'm assuming. Okay, so this is the last snack as far as what I'm going to review. Uh, these, When I ordered the family pack, there is a lot of snacks. And, you know, if I was to review them all, and by the time I edit them... It'd probably be like a 50 minute video and I really want to make this uh, no longer than 20 so when I do get the munch pack family pack I do try to pick the snacks that I haven't reviewed yet and that I think they're kind of unique and very interesting uh, that you guys will enjoy so I got this last snack and this is like the second time I've gotten a box of cookies last time I did not like them uh, they were savory. I think they were kind of like herby uh, in their olive oil kind of flavor. But these I'm kind of surprised because they're packed full of coconut. So these are coconut cookies. And if they're coconut, I will definitely like it. I like anything coconut. So like I said before, Munch Pack, when they give you like snacks, they give you like big quantities of snacks. Look at this big tube of cookies. So let's try these. Mmm. Really, that's that coconut. Wow. These actually smells pretty good. Let's try this. Now this would be good with a cup of coffee. It's a hard cookie, so it's not soft. It's like a bit dry. But like I said, I think this would be great with a cup of coffee or even a, uh, a tea. This would be good, and definitely just by itself. I'm not saying that they're dry, like they're not good, but they're really good. So these are really good. These, I'm going to give this a five out of five. Definitely, they taste really good. I'm so amazed on how much flavor of coconut. You can definitely taste the coconut, and it's coming really coming through. The first thing that comes to your taste buds is that coconut, a strong coconut flavor. I like strong flavor of coconut. It just means a better cookie. So these are really good as well. And these are from Mumbai, India. So these are from Pakistan. Um, if I had to choose between both of these, coconut would be definitely my favorite, but they're still pretty good. These are both cookies that in my opinion, 
would taste better if they had some sort of like hot beverage. Not just a cup of coffee, but hot apple cider, um, a nice cup of tea. Definitely, I'm going to keep these for tomorrow when I uh, drink my coffee or something hot. So, an overall experience, this month, Munch Pack, phenomenal. These snacks are so fantastic. The actual coffee that I got with this box, it's a uh, maple and bacon flavor coffee. It's mind-boggling. I couldn't believe it. Uh, I can't wait to try this for coffee time. But like I said, you'll have to follow me on social media to find out when my first uh, episode of Coffee Time will be airing. So, hope you guys did enjoy this review. As always, if you guys did, you guys want to see more, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to continue seeing more Munch Pack reviews like this one. All my links to my social media will be in the description. So do follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook for upcoming reviews, vlogs, and of course, cooking videos. So until next time, peace out.